Welcome back to the Filipino FM channel. In this video, we are going to see which goal scoring player trait is going to help the perfect player score the most goals in their career. So here we have five perfect players all playing at mid-table clubs in the English Premier Division. In the season preview, these are the clubs going from 8th to 12th. So we have them at kind of the five most middle average clubs in the EPL. So here we have our five perfect players. Four of our players have goal scoring player traits that we might see in forwards throughout the game. So these are shoots with power, tries first time shots, places shots, and rounds the keeper. And finally, we have one control perfect player to see how our ones with player traits will end up stacking up against our control player. So each of our players has 200 current ability, and this is the control player, so they don't have any player traits, as we can see here. But for the other players, I have clicked on those player traits, so they have those goal-scoring player traits. And we're going to see if adding goal-scoring traits to the perfect player helps them to score more goals. But I think this is going to be interesting, because obviously we have five perfect players here. And for the other perfect players, you know, they're going to attempt to shoot with power or try first time shots or play shots or around the keeper. But I'm curious to see whether or not our control player actually ends up doing the best because we do have the perfect player. Maybe they don't need player traits. Maybe we can just trust them to always make the right decision. But we don't need a player trait to compensate for poor finishing or to capitalize on really great technique. Because we have a player who's just so good that they don't really need a player trait to score goals. But that being said, we are going to see what happens. So we're going to simulate 20 seasons, and we're going to see which player scores the most goals in 20 seasons. But first, let's go 10 seasons into the future to 2032, and let's see how we're doing at the halfway point. See you all in 10 seasons. All right, welcome back. We're actually 11 seasons into the future. So we are in 2033, and let's look and see how many goals each of our players has scored. As we can see, some of them have moved clubs, and actually two of them are at Chelsea now. That's interesting. So we'll at least have kind of a direct comparison with those at Chelsea, but let's see how many goals each player has scored. All right, this is our player who rounds the keeper, and he has a lot of 235 goals rounding the key oh, that is phenomenal okay but let's see how that stacks up so rounds the keeper has 235 goals and looking at our player who places shots significantly less goals only 188 goals even after playing with man city for a lot i mean they're on a good team they should be getting a lot of chances only 188 goals wow moving into our shoots with power player much, much closer to rounds the keeper, 223 goals, both significantly better than our places shots, which is actually a little bit surprising to me. Our player who attempts first time shots, 229 goals. Again, it seems like the only player that's kind of done poorly is maybe the places shots player, but otherwise the other three are all very similar. So let's see how that stacks up against our control player. And wow, our control player is actually the player who scored the most goals. 243 goals in 10 seasons for a control player. Wow, you know what? The perfect player maybe doesn't even need a player trait. Because the one without the player trait has scored the most goals, barring... Wow, I mean, they've had really good seasons, barring one season. Let's actually look at their player traits just to make sure they haven't added any. They they like to lob keeper, attempt overhead kicks, dives into tackles, tries long range free kicks. But again, none maybe the lob the keeper one, but that's not really as much of a goal scoring trait that we would add to a striker as far as the other one's concerned. So as far as I'm concerned, they haven't really added much and they have scored a lot of goals. 243 our control player is the one who has the most goals. Well, there we are at the halfway point. Let's just simulate to the end of these guys' careers, go 20 seasons into the future, and see what happens. 
Well, we actually didn't get to 20 years. They all retired prior to then before the age of 40. So we are actually going to end the experiment 15 years into the future in 2037. So our no trait player actually had scored the most goals 10 years into the future. So 15 years into the future, we are going to see if that's the same. So let's start with the player who places their shots. And our places shots player ended up with 277 goals, a really good goal total. But given how well our other players were doing, I think our places shots players is going to end up being the worst, which is a little bit surprising given that our perfect player with such good technique, such good finishing and composure, you would think that places shots would be really good. But again, I guess when you're the perfect player, maybe you don't need player traits to score a lot of goals. Moving on to the Roundskeeper player, this guy, 309 goals, significantly more than the Places Shots player, 309 goals. All right, let's see what we got up next. All right, we move on to the Shoots with Power player, who is actually still at Leicester. Only 298 goals, actually. That's actually not as much as I was expecting. So that's a lot less. The Roundskeeper is probably the best of the player traits so far. Shoots with power being a little bit better, 298 goals compared to 277 for our place as shots player. And finally, our attempts first time shots player is still at Wolves, 301. Again, maybe the Roundskeeper one as far as player traits is a little bit better, but first time shots about the same and places shots being significantly worse. All right, some interesting results here. All right, and now we have our no trait player. 299 goals, that's it. Well, what do you know? The, the, the best player trait for the perfect player, perfect striker across their career is rounding the keeper. I mean, I guess... Maybe that makes sense because if you're rounding the keeper with 20 pace and 20 dribbling, I mean, it's going to be easiest to score in an open goal. Wow. All right. Only 299 goals, almost exactly the same as the shoots with power and almost exactly the same as the first time shots players. And really the rounds the keeper player was the best. All right, very interesting results here. Well, there you have it. The best player who scored the most goals in this simulation was the rounds the keeper player. So perhaps having the perfect player with the player trait of rounding the keeper might be the best. But otherwise, shoots with power, first time shots, and our control were pretty much all the same. I mean, they were all in like a few goals of each other across their career. The only one that maybe did a little bit uh, poorly was the places shots player. But there we have our answer. The best player trait for the perfect player playing up top is rounding the goalkeeper. But with that, that's all I've got. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you all are having a wonderful week, and I will see you all next time. Bye!